Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be looking at a product that I recently received for review purposes. This is by a company called Viewfine, and I actually caught their Kickstarter campaign, and I decided to reach out to them and see if they had any demo units they can go ahead and send over so I can review. So they sent this unit over, and um, the first thing I want to say is this is one of those products that works exactly as it's advertised. Now, um, I was kind of skeptical as far as how this would work and what type of applications I could use it for. So basically it comes in this box here. Uh, you do have a tearaway tab, which obviously I have already done in order to get into the box so I can use it. As you open it up, you have on the very top right here, a little bit of a booklet. And basically this is your user guide. Um, it gives you all these steps to charging it, all the different pieces, setting it up and things like that. So that's very useful. Um, it's very easy to um, kind of navigate through. It gives you all the information that you need and it doesn't bore you with a lot of different details, which is nice. You have this little card here. Again, the company is called Viewfine. Uh, and if you guys can see there, it says wearable displays simplified. And then it just gives you a little bit of information. Again, this company was um, funded in Kickstarter, which is really nice. Um, a couple of things in here. Uh, I do have these two coasters that they sent out. Um, I don't think they do anything with the actual product, but it's really cool. You can always use coasters. And then you have uh, one of their stickers here, which is really nice. I'll go ahead and throw it on somewhere. And then you have your different accessories right in here. Now, before I get into the box, I um, wanted to tell you a little bit about what Viewfine actually is. And basically, Viewfine is a what they call a picture-in-picture -picture monitor. So um, what this does is... Any device, um, computer, um, iPad, uh, tablet, cell phone, anything like that, that can export video via HDMI up to 720p, um, you're actually able to view what is on that device on the screen for viewfind. So what that means is that it's actually projecting a small little window uh, or a small little um, viewing area of your device itself. So your screen on your, let's say your phone, you're actually able to see it on the viewfind. So onto the actual um, accessories in here. So you do get a pair of glasses. So if you do not have um, your own glasses, you can go ahead and use the ones that they sent you. These are just uh, kind of um, black rim glasses, plastic. Uh, they're pretty sturdy, which is nice. Um, you also have a cleaning cloth, a little microfiber bag here. So again, view fine. So I'll set that to the side. Uh, again, uh, some of the different accessories in here. So you have your attachment point here. So this is what you're going to use to attach the view fine to whatever um, pair of glasses you're going to want to do it. So you can use the ones that they were supplied with. You can use sunglasses, your own prescription reading glasses or anything like that. Um, this is one of the options that you're going to use for that. So if you have something with thicker legs or something like that, you're going to want to use this. It stretches out a little bit and it goes around the arms and it provides a nice and secure fit. Also, if you have glasses that have a thinner uh, frame, so like metal frames or something like that, you're going to want to use this adapter right here first. So you slide this in through there and it'll allow you to put the magnetic adapter around that. So it's cool that they thought of that to be able to use it because again, there's different people that have different size and style of glasses. Besides that, you have an HDMI cable, which is what's going to export the um, video from your device onto the viewfind and then you have a micro usb to regular usb charger to charge up the viewfind device and then you have the star of the show right here and that is the viewfind so this is the module that will actually attach onto the glasses and you're going to be able to see via this little window right here uh, basically exactly what it is that you see on your device so whether it's an ipad or uh, um, a laptop or a cell phone or something like that through this little window here. Now, um, this has about a 90 minute battery life, uh, which is pretty good. It gives you, um, you know, more than enough time to do, you know, different things. On the bottom right here, you have uh, two connections. One is going to be for HDMI, and that is to, uh, again, import the video from whatever source you're doing. And then the other one is going to be a micro USB to go ahead and charge up the viewfind itself. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this goes on here. So I'll use the stock ones here. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and 
put the attachment around the leg of the glasses. So um, you can, you know, either do it this way or the other way, um, you know, with this on the bottom. So it just depends on how far you want that to go. And then because this is magnetic, all you have to do is go ahead and kind of plop it on there. And there it is. Now it gives you a little bit of options. You can go ahead and, um, you know, bring this further back. So it'll put the actual device a little bit closer to the glasses uh, or forward, you know, as far as it might be able to go. So you can, you know, put it a little bit further away. It just depends on how you want to go ahead and focus it. Now, because uh, it is on a magnet there, you're able to swivel it down or swivel it up depending on, you know, how you want it to, to look. So if you bring it down, that way you just have to kind of glance down at it. It'll give you still, you'll have good vision at the very top. Now this also slides in and out. So that way, depending on where you want it to sit on the glasses, you can do that also. So you have a lot of different customizability as far as, you know, um, how you want it to, uh, how close do you want it to you and stuff like that to be able to focus it. Now, um, by way of comparison, I have here my iPod Touch. And basically the way that this will connect onto an iPod Touch is you have to get a, um, an HDMI out. So this uh, piece right here is actually separate. They do sell it, but if you're gonna be using um, any type of um, device that uses the lightning cable, you're gonna need this right here to be able to push out the HDMI. Now, if you use um, anything that uses a micro USB, then obviously that is supplied um, directly with the different accessories. So anything, um, Samsung, Android, things like that, you'll already be able to use that. Um, anything else, uh, Apple, you'll go, have to go ahead and use this. So um, anything that uses the lightning. So again, um, iPod touches, uh, iPhones, iPads, you're gonna need something like this. So this connects at the bottom of the device like that. So now it gives you an out for your um, HDMI. And what's cool is that you also have um, an open port to be able to charge it. So again, since you are taking up the lightning connection there, you have this open port right there. So if you wanna charge it at the same time, you can connect it right here and it will charge your device also. So this is where the HDMI cable comes into play. So you will connect the HDMI cable to the viewfind. So right there, all right. And then this will go connected to the device, in this case, my iPod Touch. All right, so there it is connected. And now um, you have your power button right back here. So you go ahead and press that and obviously it's off. So let's turn it on so you can see a little bit. And I don't know if the camera is gonna be able to pick it up, but there will be, oh, there it is. All right, so I'm trying to do my best. As you guys can see right now, uh, you can see the screen. So basically what you're seeing on here is what you have on your device here. So if I go into the different applications, let's say I go in there, let's see if we can see it. There it is. All right, we'll go out of it. It'll go back to your regular screen there. Uh, I'm trying to put this uh, a little bit closer. Let me see if I can maneuver around the camera here. Okay, maybe this will help here. Let's see. Uh, doesn't look like it is. There it is. Well, uh, you guys can make it out in there. Again, it's uh, it's going to add a pretty clear um, representation of what you're seeing on the device itself. Again, the camera's not doing a really good job at catching that, but um, you know, you can go ahead and maneuver through the different icons and the different things. Um, you know, if you want to watch a video or something like that, you're able to do that. Now, with that being said, um, go ahead and turn this off. All right. And I'll disconnect this from the iPod, set this to the side. All right, with that being said, um, I mentioned being able to watch video. Yes, um, it will reproduce the video and you'll be able to see it on the viewfind, but unfortunately there is no audio. So in order to do, do that, you would have to physically connect um, either earbuds onto the device, uh, or you know, if you use a wireless headset or something like that, you would have to do that. Again, I was trying it out with the um, supplied I, um, iPod Touch earbuds, and I just found that it's a lot of cables. It works, you know. It, I see the video through here. I listen to it, um, but it's just you know the HDMI cables hanging down. I have the earbuds hanging down. So um, I would like to see maybe in the future um, some sort of way of incorporating sound into this, maybe like a small little. Um, earbud or something like that that comes out the back that you can just 
stick in your ear or something like that, that would be really cool. Now, I know one of the other um, things that they have already mentioned is the ability to be able to um, put this from your right side to the left side. You know, it just depends on what people would need. Right now, it's only able to be viewed through the right side. So again, just keep that in mind. Um, you know, uh, if you do decide to pick one of these up, that as it is right now, uh, it can only be viewed on the right side. Uh, like I mentioned, they are looking into uh, maybe in the future having another model that where you can go ahead and either view it on either side or maybe just the left side one or something like that. Now, um, one of the things I mentioned at the beginning of the video is um, me kind of thinking of the applications to be able to use the viewfind for. Now, one of the ones that they mentioned is um, in the case of, let's say, if you have a GoPro uh, sitting on top of your helmet and you're riding bike or something like that, you can um, connect the viewfind to your GoPro and now you'll be able to see exactly what the GoPro is seeing. So you'll be able to line up shots and things like that. Um, without having to or you know because of the fact that you're not able to physically see what what the GoPro is filming now with this you are able to do that which is great because I know a lot of people that maybe have missed opportunities or things like that because they think things are in frame and they're really not now one of the applications that I personally used this for was um, doing a presentation uh, I was doing a PowerPoint presentation and normally I would either be standing behind a podium looking at the screen or turning around and looking at the um, the, the wall behind me or, or you know wherever it is that was being projected onto the screen or something like that and with this I was able to step away from the podium still see where I was maybe read sometimes you know the PowerPoint presentation and go ahead and just keep looking directly ahead now obviously it's going to look a little weird at first when you see somebody wearing these, um, but a little bit of explanation behind, you know, goes a long way. Just explain, hey, you know, I'm just kind of seeing what's on my computer, I'm seeing the presentation behind me. So just disregard that. And, um, you know, I, I got a couple of questions on the viewfind itself, uh, but for the most part, it made my job a lot easier. I was able to, you know, look straight ahead and keep engaged with the audience and not have to look at my laptop or look behind me or anything like that. Now, one other use that I saw this and I actually had somebody test out with is in the area of uh, surveillance, uh, you know, again, um, lawful surveillance, I should say, um, because of the fact that you can go ahead and connect this, um, you know, the viewfind to any device. Um, I can go ahead and connect it to a phone or something like that, uh, an iPod touch like this. And if I'm, you know, an undercover uh, a private investigator or an undercover police officer or something like that, I can go ahead and be looking one way and have my phone pointing in another way. And I'm able to see what the phone is seeing without having to physically be looking that way. And, you know, again, these are different things that um, different uses that different people could give to one particular product. And, and, and that's the beauty of doing these type of, um, of reviews is that you got to get ideas from what other people have been using it for and things like that. So again, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that this is a product or one of those products that does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. Uh, this is not to be considered uh, anything else but a, uh, a, you know, a picture in picture, a, a viewer for, you know, another device. So this standalone is not going to do anything. You need that other device to be able to do that. So, but once you have it connected to the viewfind, it does a great job at reproducing the image that is on that device. Uh, and it does it very well. Uh, it's nice. Uh, it's crisp. It's clear. Um, you're able to, to see, you know, the screen and read and things like that um, within reason, obviously, but you're able to use it for, you know, those different types of uses. So, there it is. That is the Viewfind. So it's the wearable display simplified. Um, they were successfully funded on Kickstarter. And I think for the most part, uh, it's a great device uh, for, you know, if you have a particular use for it. I love the fact that they included the glasses. So that way you don't have to run around and get glasses if you don't wear them. But these will it will fit onto any type of glasses, sunglasses, things like that, and you're able to go ahead and and see what it is that your um, that your other device is seeing. So uh, even at, you know if you want to connect it to a camera, um, maybe you're you're filming a video with your phone or something like that, and you can't be right behind it to see what it is. You're still able to go ahead and put these on and uh, go ahead and see what the camera is seeing. Now, uh, the HDMI cable is about three feet long, so it does give you uh, a little bit of length to be able to do that. 
but uh, in the event that you would have to find maybe a longer one if you wanted to be a little bit further away from the source or something like that, uh, you're able to do that again with this adapter here for lightning cables. So again, the adapter is separate, but you will have to pick that up in order to be able to use any type of device that uses the lightning connector. But if not, if you use anything that uses the micro uh, USB that is supplied with the whole kit. So there it is, that is uh, Viewfind. Um, really awesome product. Uh, I will leave a link below to their site if you guys are interested in picking one up. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.